Hi, my uh, name is uh, Chetil Tredal Torsen. I'm an architect, Norwegian, in Oslo, New York, and a few other places in the world. In uh, today's society, we've seen increasingly how our perception of our surroundings is dealing with the visual aspect, with the eye. But as we know, our senses all react in different ways to our surroundings in, in ways that are controllable. So from our point of view, sound, acoustics, light, lesser obvious things to the users and the user groups start becoming more and more important in the design issues that we're dealing with. Architecture is in many ways the art of prepositions in, over, under, on top of. So architecture per se is about where we as human beings are located in relationship to architecture as peace, which obviously means that we have to rely on all senses in order for us to be able to describe where our bodies are located in relationship to something. Architecture is definitely a holistic profession, but that doesn't mean that with today's challenges, when it comes to all the complexities of things we have to deal with, that this notion of controlling all these complexities in one person is at all at hand. So we have to rely on the expertise of many people. But if we only allow the expertise to come in and tell their opinion and leave again, then all of a sudden you're not getting the best out of that expert. So we have developed a method which we call transpositioning. And transpositioning is bringing all the experts around the table during creative uh, periods of the design, but also later in the design, and removing themselves from their expertise. The artist becomes the musician, the musician becomes the engineer, the engineer becomes the sociologist, the sociologist becomes the architect, and so forth. So by doing that, we're getting a much broader picture of how architecture is collaborative. You can increase the understanding of your own knowledge base once you have something to ping pong with. You know, it's really it's not that much fun to play ping pong with yourself. So it's, it's this relationship of breaking down preconceptions of what things can be. We've spent so much time through human history to become free, in a sense, to use our brain based on the interception and the reinvention of things. And all of a sudden, we should limit ourselves to one narrow view of a specialist? No. So I think we've moved into a situation where specialization has become an issue that actually narrows down the problem. But it hasn't become something that solves anything more than that specialized element. And once you start disconnecting one problem from the other problem, then all of a sudden there is no fusion, there is no effect of combining these. So that's why the transpositional method for us is a way of getting rid of all the preconceptions. Gatherings like this one are of extreme importance simply because they say you cannot solve anything on your own.